What is he saying? Do, uh, it's John, John Pierce, Pierce or this is John? This is John Pierce. This is, okay. Oh, sorry, I'm going to cue. Good evening. Good evening. This is John Pierce. This is John Pierce. I'm, I'm a, tailor. a tailor. And, and what, you're what you're about, about to, to see, see happened, happened a long, long, a long, time, long ago. time ago. Anyway, it's my anyway, story. It's my story. So you'll get kind of double echo going on. I was with the sister of Christian Marcon, another French film director. And um, I saw Florence and I said to her, she's going to be in my film. And Carol's in Non, ça c'est impossible. Elle est très difficile. Jamais, jamais. Well, we proved her wrong, didn't we? It was blown up to 35 mil. It looked like Lumiere and Son had shot it because the grain in the, in the you, I think you probably got it on on the. It's called Jailbird. It went on release with a movie called Caligula. I married the leading lady. That's a huge mistake. You should never do that. Even in the film, he says, "Maybe she's for you." You see, in those days, we were schlepping cans of 16 millimeter film and an Ariflex. Florence and I had the worst flu. I got it off Mick Jagger, actually. I've been around so long, I'm making for the offspring of Mick Jagger. Is this a break or are we film? Plastic. Polythene. <laughs> and it's always difficult to deal with. Look, look at that. But this girl here, that's Gayla Mitchell. And she was a model of Ozzy Clark. And he used to put on very good shows when models were models and they would really strut their stuff. A mutual friend said, I've got a girl, I think she'd be just right for your shop. And um, so Dominique turned up one day and never left. <laughs> it's a nice hat, isn't it? And I was training to be a lithographic artist. I couldn't stand the noise of the machinery. So I decided I wanted a quiet, calm job. And uh, I'll become a tailor. There's a suit I want. And the only way I'm going to get it is if I learn to make it. So I walked around Savile Row. That's where I wound up when I was 15 at Hawes and Curtis. But before that, I'd gone into a shop called Henry Poole, which is a very well-known establishment. And while I was there, the actor David Niven walked in. He was a kind of national treasure, wasn't he? So that was rather my first experience of seeing this rather great personage and all this joyous banter between him and the cutter. And I thought, well, this is going to be a great job. I'm going to meet stars. That was my first, <laughs> my first thought about becoming a tailor. Is that Suggs's mum? It's not, is it? That, that woman. Because I'd left London, I'd left my shop. Granny takes a trip. So I was a kind of burnt out case. And we also had a band um, which imploded in Amsterdam. So I was ready for new things. So I'm in Rome 
And a good friend of mine is playing in Satyricon. And she invited me to come to dinner. Every Friday there would be dinner at Fellini's with his crew and cappuccino <laughs> vibing up. And, uh, and then he suggests we all go to the beach. It's kind of midnight, as Fellini would. Danielle starts wading out to sea. Fellini decides that it's uh, time to go home, but Danielle's not having it. She's swimming out there. He says, well, Brother John, can't, can't you do something? <laughs> can, can you make a... <laughs> so I say, yeah, come on, Danielle, look, if you don't come back, we're all just going to fuck off and leave you. He said, Brother John, You'll be a great film director. <laughs> <laughs> I am John Pierce, and I am a tailor. So it's written in the book, but whether they turn up or not. The problem with you, movie maker, is your will to survive. So we're still surviving.